So as, as is our custom, every November here at Collective, we take a break from our devotions and we do what we call the taking stock conversations where we get different people from our community to come and just share what the year has been like to them, what it's been like to them to come to Collective. Um, and I'm sure like the, for the past uh maybe four sundays you've enjoyed those conversations just listening to different uh ones of our leaders here at collective and just uh amazing people that make our community and um there's a reason why we do that and it's because it is so important to always take a pause and just see how far you've come always important i love hiking and uh one of the things they tell you about hiking or mountain climbing is um if you go to a mountain like that is super scary or a hill that is like super steep um and intimidating to climb uh there's like normally for those of you who've hiked through um the gong hills there's the third hill like the third hill from this side i don't know what side this is i'm pointing like any from the gong side uh not the other konabaridi side the third hill on this side uh from gong is normally very steep and the first time we went there, the guy who was helping us hike um, told us not to look at the hill, but to look where we were stepping. Like, just look where you're stepping. And we're like, okay. Um, and, and that makes sense because you, you only watch a step. You only watch a step. And then after some time, and the guy was giving us stories and telling us things, and we're just watching a step. When we got to some point, he said, now look back. And kid you not we were at the top of the hill and it didn't feel like we'd climbed a really steep hill uh, just because we all we did was mind the step mind the step and the reason why we normally have these uh taking stock conversations is because all we've been doing through the year is just minding the step in january you are just minding the step for january february you're just minding the step for february um and and then there's that season in the year there june july that just you know is just like wavy and everything and through this year we've had elections we've had many things happening and we've just been minding the step to make sure that we survive through the year now there has to come a point where you stop and look back so that you can see how far god has brought you that is the only way to be grateful you know, and I think about it, and uh, there's a verse I want to read for us. It's First Samuel chapter seven and verse twelve. It's a very common verse. Uh, once you hear it, it says, um, "I'm reading it. I'll read it from two versions of the Bible." The NIV says, "Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen. He named it Ebenezer, saying, "Thus far, the Lord has helped us." The New Living Translation says. Samuel then took a large stone and placed it between the towns of Mizpah and Jeshana. He named it Ebenezer, which means the stone of help. For he said, up to this point, the Lord has helped us. Man, I love that scripture. And it just summarizes what we've been trying to do this month. Up to this point, God has helped us. The only way you can say God has helped me up to this point is if you stop and look at how far you've come. And God continually told the children of Israel and ordered them. They even in the book of Joshua, they did it even like after he enabled them to cross the, the river Jordan. He told them to get stones from the river, make an altar so that they could remember what God had done for them. And they could tell stories of what God had done for them. My job today is to simply ask you in the course of this week, in the course of the coming week, before this year ends, could you take a pause and look at how far God has brought you this year? How has God helped you? What are some of the things that you can celebrate and say, I'm going to be grateful for this and this and this? Shops closed down. You know, there are times, there's a time I was going to Mr. Price to get something and they closed. They closed for stock taking. Shops take stock. Just so that you know, what do I still have? What have we sold? Where are we at at this point? Organizations take stock. And we are pushing you to make sure that you as well can pause and take stock and think about this year. What has God done this year? What are you grateful for? In what areas have you grown? In what areas have you made progress? So that it can help you see 
what it is that you can walk into the next year. Samuel wrote that scripture and said, this far the Lord has helped me. And we were able to call God Ebenezer. That's where the name Ebenezer comes from. It means this far the Lord has helped us or the Lord who's helped us this far. When it comes to celebrating where God has brought you up to, what would you say? How can you say God has helped you in your spiritual life? How can you say God has helped you, uh, let's say, in your, in, your, in your family life? How can you say God has helped you in, your, in, in the things you want to do professionally or vocationally? How can you say God has helped you financially through this year? How can you say God has helped you health-wise, you know, through this year? All these things, we can only be able to take them to account if we pause and take stock. And I need you to take a pause and go down and look at your life and evaluate the things that you are thanking God for. If you need help with that, um, you can go to the link. There's a link uh, at the description box. It will lead you uh, to a document that you can go and go through and, and, and use it to track where you're at and take stock so that you can celebrate the far that God has brought you this year. I pray that you can get time enough to do that so that we can all end the year together. In either way, November is Thanksgiving month. And you can't, you know, sometimes when it, it comes to testimonies in church, that's the thing I find very funny. In fact, we were laughing about it at the beginning of this year, that in church, if you give a mic and you said, everybody mention a prayer request, everybody gets the mic and they know, you know, pray for me, I'm doing exams. Pray for me, I'm praying for a job. Pray for me, I'm doing this. Pray for me, I'm doing that. But now we're in the month for Thanksgiving. If you pass the mic around and say, okay, let's give testimonies of what God has done. We are so shy about it. And we say, let me thank God for life. Like we can see you're already alive. That's great. But what else can you thank God for? I'm not minimizing the fact that we are alive. But I'm saying it is only in taking stock and thinking deeply about how far we've come that our hearts can be filled with a thanksgiving that we can, that we want to give this month. So thank you so much for joining us today. Please take time, stop and reflect. Take stock so that you can be able to have a heart of gratefulness to what God has done in your life. God bless you. Have a great, great, great remainder of the week. Bye.